Heading, house-to-house visitation. Subheading, house-to-house work. Not only is the truth to be presented in public assemblies, house-to-house work is to be done. Let this work go forward in the name of the Lord. Review and Herald, August 11, 1903. This house-to-house labor, searching for souls, hunting for the lost sheep, is the most essential work that can be done. Letter 137, 1898. Subheading, The Objective of House-to-House Labor. Our people make a great mistake when after holding a camp meeting and gathering a few souls, they take down the tents and feel that their duty is done. Their work had only just begun. They have preached doctrines that are new and strange to the people who heard them and then left the seed sown to be picked up by the birds or else to wither away for want of moisture. After the truth has been presented to souls, there are those, ministers, friends, and acquaintances who will pick up the seed sown if possible. These human birds make the truth appear as error and do not give the one convicted any rest until they have devoured the seed by false assertions. What should be done? After the camp meeting is over, establish a mission. Let the very best workers that can be found be organized into a company to sell our literature and also to give away papers to some that cannot buy. Preparatory work is not only one half the value that the after work is. After the people have heard the reasons of our faith, let the house to house work begin. Become acquainted with the people and read to them the precious words of Christ. Lift up Jesus crucified among them, and soon those who have listened to the message of warning from the ministers of God in the tent and have been convicted will be drawn out to inquire in regard to what they have heard. This is the time to present the reasons of our faith with meekness and fear, not a slavish fear, but a cautious fear, lest you should speak unadvisedly. Present the truth as it is in Jesus, with all meekness and lowliness, which means with simplicity and in sincerity, giving meat in due season, and to every man his portion of meat. Letter 18, 1898. Subheading, Preaching Made Effectual by House-to-House Labor. From the experience of the workers in blank, we see that the efforts made after a camp meeting has closed are far more consequences than the work done before. For years I have been shown that house-to-house labor is the work that will make the preaching of the word a success. If those interested are not visited by our workers, other ministers should get upon their tracks and confuse them by misquoting and resting the scriptures. These people are not familiar with the word. They think that their ministers must be true and unprejudiced men, and they give up their convictions. But if our workers can visit those interested to explain the word of truth to them more fully, revealing the truth in contrast to error, they will become established. Had this work been done earnestly and vigilantly, had the workers perseveringly watched for souls as they that must give an account, Many more sheaves would have been the fruit of the seed sown at our camp meetings. This work has also been carried on in blank. There are now no less than 50 new Sabbath keepers as the result of this personal labor, this hunting for souls. Unless the work is appointed by God to the interested hunting for lost sheep, Satan will succeed in his work of destroying, and souls will be lost that might have been found and restored. Letter 18, 1898. Subheading, some not reached by the public effort. In large cities, there are certain classes that cannot be reached by public meetings. These must be reached out as the shepherd searches for his lost sheep. Diligent personal effort must be put forth in their behalf. Gospel Workers, page 364, 1915. Subheading, to those who will not come to the feast. If they will not come to the gospel feast to which the call of Christ invites them, then God's messengers must accommodate themselves to the circumstances and bear the message to them in house-to-house labor, thus extending their ministry to the highways and byways, giving the last message to the world. Letter 164, 1899. Subheading even to the disinterested. Go to the homes of even those who manifest no interest. While mercy's sweet voice invites the sinner, work with every energy of heart and brain, as did Paul, 
who cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. In the day of God, how many will confront us and say, I am lost, I am lost, and you never warned me, you never entreated me to come to Jesus. Had I believed as you did, I would have followed every judgment-bound soul within my reach with prayers and tears and warnings. Review and Herald, June 24, 1884. Subheading, Carry God's Word to Every Man's Door. The press is an instrumentality by which many are reached whom it would be impossible to reach by ministerial effort. A great work can be done by presenting to the people the Bible just as it reads. Carry the Word of God to every man's door. Urge its plain statements upon every man's conscience. Repeat to all the Savior's command. Search the Scriptures. Admonish them to take the Bible as it is to implore the divine enlightenment, and then, when the light shines, to gladly accept every precious ray and fearlessly abide the consequences. Review and Herald, July 10, 1883. Subheading, God Will Guide to Homes. Light, light from the Word of God. This is what the people need. If the teachers of the Word are willing, the Lord will lead them into close relation with the people. He will guide them to the homes of those who need and desire the truth. And as the servants of God engage in the work of seeking for the lost sheep, their spiritual faculties are awakened and energized. Knowing that they are in harmony with God, they feel joyous and happy. Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, they obtain an experience that is invaluable to them. Their intellectual and moral powers attain their highest development, for grace is given in answer to the demand. Review and Herald, December 29, 1904.